And we have a rebound. U.S. stocks are rallying today after some government stimulus package that President Trump did propose yesterday. We have the airliners up. We have oil prices up. We have the FANG stocks up. And we also have Jonathan Corpina from Meridian Equity Partners here on the floor. Jonathan, where are you seeing the gains today? Why is this happening on Tuesday? Well, Liv, like you said on your lead-in, this is all coming from the president's speech last night, uh, proposing a stimulus in, in tax breaks with uh, uh, referring to payroll. So does that mean anything? I think it's a, you know, might be a short-lived headline. We're, we don't have additional information to it. We don't know what's going to get rolled out. We don't know the time frame in which that will come into play. So the market is looking for something to rebound off this massive sell that we had yesterday. But as of now, it seems like we opened on the highs and we're slowly drifting lower and lower. This market is just yearning for another headline. Would you say that today is an opportunity people would be taking to, they were watching the market, they were watching, I mean, stocks crash. We, we haven't had a, a worse day since 2008. Are they taking today to take those profits? Uh, so, I, you know, I think if you've had the intention of getting out of the market, you've missed your opportunity. Um, so I don't think you're using that time frame today. I think what investors are waiting for is just the next headline. And what is that going to be? It's going to be either a corona, he a corona headline or it's going to be a, a U.S. stimulus headline, waiting for which one of those is going to come out to move the markets. And it seems like, um, you know, the corona headlines are going to continue to come out. We haven't seen any positive or real change in those headlines just yet. So the president, I believe, is going to be making a speech later on tonight, probably more about the virus as opposed to the economy, but he might tie both things together. So with the government now stepping in after the Fed tried to step in, would you say that the global economy is pretty fragile right now? I think it's been fragile for quite some time. It's just a question of what was going to be the, the straw to break the camel's back. And this black swan headlines that we've gotten with Corona and now the more recent one with oil has clearly shown us how fragile our markets are. What a double whammy for oil. Not only do we have people not traveling because of the coronavirus or shipping goods, but now we have Saudi Arabia and Russia in a cat war. Yeah, it's uh, you know unfortunate that it's occurring. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. I mean, Saudi Arabia has has really flexed their muscles and have have marked uh, you know have 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 claimed their stake as to how they're going to make sure this unfolds. Uh, they're taking a very strong stance here, and they are, and it's, it's going to be interesting to see how Russia now, um, you, know, re, you know, comes back against them on this, and then everybody else who's going to get wrapped into this. OPEC's been rather quiet. We'll wait to hear what they have to, to say, too. So do you think that, you know, obviously Saudi Arabia has the guts to make this move? Is it sustainable? Uh, for them, I, I think it is. I mean, they've got the power behind them. Uh, they clearly have the control of the spigot. So I think for a short period of time, they're really able to, you know, make the rules and see how everybody plays by it. But once again, they've put many countries in a position to make some serious decisions. So we'll see how everyone reacts to this. All right. So final question, Jonathan, are you bullish or bearish this week? Uh, this week, I continue to be bearish. Um, I just don't think that we're getting the headlines, the transparency, and the information from global agencies as far as what's going on with the coronavirus. Whether you think it's just the flu or this major uh, epidemic, there hasn't been any positive headlines that's come out of it, right? We haven't gotten the it's contained headline. We haven't gotten the vaccination headlines. We haven't gotten the, you know, the it's a 14-day incubation period, and if you... You know, if you isolate yourself, everything will be fine for a short period of time. We haven't gotten those positive headlines. We spoke about this last week. We're talking about this week. I bet you next Tuesday we're talking about it again. Um, but until we get that, I, I think the fear that we're seeing in this market is clearly here. I mean, we opened uh, up, you know, almost 800 points and gotten to that level there. And now we're, we're up only 200. So we've seen a significant sell-off in the Dow. S&P futures were up 120 earlier today. We're only up 20 right now. Those are some real, real moves. I don't know if this market has enough strength to hold on to this rally today. Yeah, the eternals are shaky for sure. And we, of course, always appreciate you. You know, it, Jonathan says he's bearish and he just gave us a nice bear hug here on a Tuesday. We love having you on the show. Thank you so much. Of appreciate course, it. you guys know that's Jonathan Corpina from Meridian Equity Partners.